Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change your oil in your 2014 plus GMC Sierra or Chevy Silverado. Um, this will be pretty similar on trucks with a 4.3 liter, 5.3 liter, and 6.2 liter. My motor is a 5.3 liter V8. First thing you want to do is go ahead and drive around, get your vehicle's engine temp up to normal operating temperature. Then you'll know, pull into your garage or wherever you're going to be doing it. Remove your oil filler cap. In my case, I have a clean side separator, so I'm just going to remove that off so that it's out of the way. Now, the next thing you want to do is actually drain your oil. So underneath the truck, you've got your oil filter here, and then this is the engine oil drain plug, not this. This is your transmission. You don't want to do that. This is a 15 millimeter. You can crack that pretty easily and uh, let it drain out. and it'll shoot at you. And I'm gonna let that drain a good long while. I'm just gonna use a filter wrench I got at a local part store, auto store, to make this getting off a little bit easier. Just have a little extension because it's kinda hard to get at. And this is hot, so you need to be careful. And just let all that drain for a while. And you can wipe your frame off so that you're not dripping oil after the fact. And you can see I'm still actually dripping out of that plug, so I'm going to let it sit for a while. The more you drain out, the better. Now, while the drain plug is still dripping on the bottom side of the car, I just want to show you the OEM filler plug versus the one I'm going to be using. This is the OEM one. This is the new one I'm going to be using. It is a gold plug. It has a magnet on the tip there. As you can see, it'll just uh, catch any medical particles that might be in the oil. So I'm going to use that. It has a little washer on it like that. And then this is the filter I'm using. That's the correct Wix size for uh, this year truck for a 5.3 liter. Just go ahead and look up your truck online somewhere. The oil capacity is 8 quarts. So I'm going to be using 8 quarts of uh, Zero W20, full synthetic. You're going to want to use something that's Dexos approved. Even though AMSOIL isn't officially Dexos, it meets the standards. I would at least recommend using a semi-synthetic Dexos approved oil that is a uh, Zero W20. Mobile One, Pennzoil, Quaker State, they all have them. As long as you're changing your oil frequently, it really shouldn't make a difference. It's all personal preference. So. I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up underneath, uh, put the drain plug in, put the oil filter in. One thing I like to do with the oil filter is fill it partially so that it's not sucking up dry sump right when you start the motor. So I'll probably fill this up about halfway with fresh oil. And make sure you always lube the top of the gasket with a little bit of oil just to make it have a good seal. And you never wanna tighten this on with a wrench. It's always just hand tight and then just snug. So even though it's still dripping slowly, I'm going to go ahead and put my cap in. It'll be all right. It's just dripping very, very slowly. Make sure you clean off the opening and the mating surface that this plug is going to go against. Make sure there's no leftover rubber grommet from the previous oil cap and mine looks good. I'm going to go ahead and thread this in. And there we go. I'm also going to clean off the mating surface for the filter and the threads. Make sure everything's clean on there. Make sure there's no leftover grommet. Now, I've got my filter with the top lubed, filled up with some oil. I'm going to go ahead and screw it into place and uh, tighten it by hand only. And it should thread on really easy. You don't want, if it's going on difficult, you've got the cross thread. I'm just going to get this nice and snug by hand, a little bit more, and that's good. Just by hand. Maybe do another little turn and that's it. I'm also going to tighten up my drain plug. Which also doesn't need to be tightened very much. That's it. Just so it's snug. Filter's tight. This is tight. All right, let's fill her up with oil. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fill it. I've got this nice long funnel. Helps things make it a lot easier to get to. Um, and then I'm just going to pull the dipstick out right now and just clean it off. Try to show you where you want to be 
you can see there's two little, there's a hash mark and then there's two little dimples. The low dimple and the high dimple. This is the high. That's where you want to be. They changed the oil capacity on these trucks uh, after about the first year. It used to be eight and a half. Now it's only eight. So actually going all the way to the top of the hash mark is wrong. You want to get to that second dimple. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with my eight quarts and then check it after and see where we're at. This is my number seven and here's my number eight. I'm actually going to stop shy, let it go down, and then uh, just check it, the level, just to make sure I'm not overfilling. This is where I was after I stopped, so I definitely need to add the rest of that uh, quart, and then we'll be probably close to that second dimple mark. So that's low. I need to go ahead and fill it up again. All right, guys, I checked it again. We're right on the money now. And the last thing you want to do is reset your oil life meter, if you have one, uh, depending on your vehicle. Go into your menu, click reset. Bada bing, bada boom, you're done. Record your mileage too, just to keep it on file. Last thing I'll say is make sure you dispose of your old oil properly. Most uh, oil change places might take it, an auto store or something like that, but don't just dump it in the drain, that'd be bad. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, thanks for watching, and make sure you guys subscribe. Thanks, see you later.